Alright, I got this Asus Nexus 7. Um, it's got a cracked screen uh, digitizer, the touch screen part. Um, the crack goes up this way, so I can touch this part, but as soon as I come over here, it doesn't work. So the crack went up that way. And you can see that's where they dropped it. <coughs> so I'm going to attempt to uh, replace the screen. And this is the Nexus 7 first generation uh, 2012 version. And you need to know that when you're ordering the screen. So give this a shot. So I got the replacement screen off Amazon. Um, and then came with the tool kit also to to do a repair. So first thing we need to do is take it apart and just a screwdriver. Need a screwdriver? Just get your fingernail underneath the underneath the case here. And then it just kind of pops off. Mm -hmm. Plug the battery. Oh, you got the screw? Yeah. Good job, buddy. Start taking screws out. Um, haven't done this one. Daddy, before. yeah. This screw. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the screws out. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, like we got three there. A couple in the corners. Uh, start taking them out. See what happens. Take this tape up. Yep, so there's the plugs for it. Plug out. Yep, I'll get the plug out. So these plugs just pull out. Oops, yeah. There we go. Alright, well, these just pull out and you gotta be careful because this plug is very delicate and very, very delicate. And yeah. She hit me in the face. Did it go? I got it. You did. Alright, I think that's all. Oh, no, there's one hidden underneath this piece of tape. There's a cable here that goes straight through. Looks like it, looks like it just pulls out. Okay, it just all right. Gonna be replacing the entire assembly, but I gotta remove the um, <coughs> LCD screen and uh, the touch screen digitizer from the frame here. So. First, I'm going to put some tape all along the screen so that um, 
so they don't have glass falling around. So I put some tape over the cracked areas to just keep the glass from going anywhere and also put down a piece of paper so that if any glass pieces get out it's somewhat contained. Um, so the first thing we need to do is take the screen off of this this frame here and the way we're going to do it is heat up the glue that goes around and holds the screen to the frame and then uh, be using some of these tools to get underneath the screen and lift it out of there slowly. Alright, so next thing we need to do is heat that up to loosen up the glue. You don't need to get it scolding hot, just get it hot to the touch. Then you need to get a razor knife. No more, buddy. No more. And get underneath the uh, glass. Slowly pull it up. No more, buddy. Just be gentle. You don't want to crack the case. And then you need to get your triangle tool here. And Alright, so it's pretty much out. Just need to. I shake it. I shake it. I shake it. Okay. Good job, buddy. Get the, just get the finishing touches done here. So when the screen cracked, it did leave a little puddle of uh, cracked glass in there that I'm gonna have to clean out and then uh, replace whatever double-sided tape I can't get back onto the frame and then we'll be able to put the new one in. So I don't really have a, any good double sticky tape to replace the stuff that came off. So I'm going to go through and try to lift it up off the screen here with the heat gun and razor. See, See how well that goes. Alright so I got all the glue from the screen transferred over. I got the part with the glass um, taken out and Gonna put in the new one here. Just be careful not to twist the screen and make sure you get the that cable in underneath before you. Cable really wants to push the screen over, but there we go. And just go around the edge, pressing it down against the frame. And then uh, set it down. And then just press down on the frame against the screen. Hey, I want some cheese. Okay. Alright, 
time to put it back together. Um, I'm going to start off with this little cable here. Push it in there. And be real careful. These cables are weak. And then you gotta weave it up through the middle there. Like that. And then it just presses down on that plug. There we go. Kind of snapped in there. And then I thought these little tabs popped up, but they don't. I tried to pop them up and I ended up cracking one. So you just push the cable into them. <laughs> Man, this is ridiculous. Shouldn't be this tough. Alright. Alright, so got these pushed in, got this clipped on, and put the tape back over the top of it. That was not easy. I did not make these cables easy to get in. But. So if you're having trouble getting the end with the charger to go down, there's a couple of pins on the inside there that need to line up. On this one, one of the pins is actually bent, so I have to make bend it back and get it up into these alignment holes. So the two black screws, one goes here in the corner and one goes right here. Alright, got all the screws back in. Time to uh, power it up. Alright, so we got it all back together. Let's see if it works. Yay! Alright, let's see. Yeah, everything seems to be working. I don't know the person's uh, pen, so but everything's everything's on the money. It looks like fantastic. Nope. Oh, thanks for watching.